told me. He said, I am ready to go. I am ready to go. He did not ask for transport. He did not ask for where he was standing. So when God speaks to us, we do not show us where to go. Where we are going. We will wait for you to say yes I'm ready. Now begin the journey. I will show you where to go. I will bless you. I will bless you. Let me tell you, if it is God that calls you, He prepares a blessing for you. Even when anyone speaks about me, He talks to them and casts them. God has called you. Oh, He said for it. Leave. I don't know which village. Don't ask him any questions. Tell him God I hear you. I am ready to go. The next day you are in the bus. And say God. Speak to me again. Can you say my God? Now that you have me. I am ready to go. 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 Don't worry about who you are going to, where you are going to eat from. Don't worry about who you are going to eat from. Who spoke in your life? I have prepared for you people. I have prepared for you people. Before you get to know, somebody comes and tells you, my sister, my sister, my sister, is struggling for long time. I have a way for you here. But if it is not good, I am going to struggle. I am going to speak in time. I am going to speak in time. I am going to speak in time. My spiritual father is coming here. I did not call you. I told him. 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 Not ask many questions. I mean, I am a servant. We pray. We ask unnecessary questions. We ask unnecessary questions. And we pray to interpret it because we men of God, men of God. When God is going to speak in your life, for the first time, you will not be clear. So don't be anything. You will not be anything. You will not be anything. So don't be anything. You will not be anything. So don't be anything. You will not be anything. So don't be anything. When God speaks to you at night, and what He shares with you at night, it is not clear to you. And the next day, you are on the road. Yes, I'm telling you. God has sent me. God has sent me. You will not be a blessing. So Abraham was not ready. Can't even pray much. Can't even go. It won't be a 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 go. I want to bless you. Abraham will ask him God. I am old enough. I am old enough. Why are you taking me out? Abraham said yes. Abraham began to say yes. We can go. And he said I will bless you. I will bless you. Let me tell you. If it is God that called you to be a minister, to be a worshiper, to be a mother of those kids, to be a caretaker, to be a donor in that church, He will bless you. I don't know where the provisions are. Right now, we don't have even a coin. To host the elders. But I tell you, on Sunday, we shall be testifying here. Because we are coming many. We shall be standing here. And saying, God has done it. Because we are going to pay for some transport. We are going to pay. We have no money. But we believe that God called us. So if He's the one who called us, He will bless us. And whoever will be a blessing in our life, we will also be blessed. Whoever will cast us, we will also be cast. We will also be cast.
Genesis a very common scripture about something very very important God was speaking to Abraham and uh, he wanted to use Abraham he wanted to bless Abraham the only condition for blessing Abraham was that he should first leave his father's house and go to another place some of you you cannot do anything when you are in your home nothing can happen when you are in your town you are business you have a free house and you are doing that business in your, in your father's house and every time you rise you fall every time you rise you fall when you go and open a branch somewhere you begin to see success you begin to see that you are doing that business in your father's house and you are doing that business in your father's house and you are doing that business in your father's house there is a problem in your father's house that must be dealt with that's what you are saying at home I don't know I don't do anything. I am not seeing any blessing in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. In your home church, you are not a blessing. So God was speaking to Abraham. And the Bible says, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get out of your country and from your what? Your what? Yeah. There is a big word there. I uh, know me a big word. Children, eh? Ah, mo kama naga ba Ibrahim onti ba mo nsi. Ah, mo kama naga ba Ibrahim onti ba mo nsi anyo. Aha. Era ewa di chika cho. Hmm. Ne nyumba ya chita o o ingire mo nsi yende kulaga. Yes. Na ne doko fule guange dene. Hmm. Era na kuanga mo kisa. Hallelujah. Era na kuzanga erinyario. Hmm. Era beera anga mo kisa guwe. Hallelujah. Amen. So the question is, will God not bless Abraham in his father's house? Because he told Abraham, get out of your father's house and go to the place I will show you. Hallelujah. Amen. He said when you are out of your father's house, when you are out of your country, you go to the place that you still no, 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 I mean, oh, my father was a great businessman. He used to sell spare parts. For that reason, I will repeat from the root of my father. And you will go to know what your father did to handle that business. He will just pick up the business and sell the parts from this family. That is the reason now. Now, I am going to tell you what I am going to tell you. Era na kuwa ngo mukisa, era na kuzangeli nyaliu, era ono bila ngo mukisa gwe. Hallelujah. Na ngi na bwa ngo mukisa, ba na kusabila ngo gwe o mukisa. Aha. Oyo ana mukoli miranga. Yes. Na mukoli miranga nzere. Hallelujah. Ne mu gwe ebi kabiona ebi omosi, mu biwelewa o mukisa. Mukama yebasi. Amen. So he told Abraham. Era na gamba Ibrahim. Abraham. Ndi Ibrahim. Leave your father's house. Bamo jaji tano. Leave your 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 Maybe a nation. I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. Some people they are blessing outside. But they are wrong. They are never a blessing. They are never a blessing. They are never a blessing. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves around. Because there is a spirit that always moves and from there he made a lot of money he said now let me go back home and enjoy myself I am asking you what you have now what you have now
Because even the house you have the plot you bought. When the plot is a good and you know you sold some of them. I don't know what to do at home. Why? Watch it. There is a spirit. When he went out, he received a blessing. No from Oksa. But now you are at home. There is nothing. You are asking yourself. When I was in Kabramaya, I was so successful. Why is it that when I came up to Uganda, I don't see the blessing. There is a problem. Well, wait, is it? Some of you, the reason why your ministry cannot stand. Hallelujah. Is it is the family. Family. It ministers that are here. I want to understand this. Some of you, you will say, let me go and open my church. Let me open my prayer altar. Let me do what? Hmm? Not forgetting. When you have forgotten, there is a problem that hinders you. You just need to deal with it. And you have anointing. You just have to sit. And there is a problem that will come upon you. And you have to say this. You now stand. And the same confusion will follow you. Some of you are here. Now, I'm going to go to the city. 
Don't look about the sin. And don't mix the words. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't mix what? Just say you know what? I, I have received this one. I understood it so clearly. Papa. If you can give me a blessing, I want to go. I want to do that. But it's not to keep you here. Amen. When you have assignment out, I don't just go with the words. Because those words will fall. Because words will cast you. Abba, you are not first. Not even tell the way that God has told me. He Amen. said, "I am." I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. He did not ask for transport. He did not ask for where you are standing. Sometimes when God speaks to us, He will not show us where to go, where we are going. He will wait for you to say yes, I'm ready. Now begin the journey. I will show you where to go. I will bless you. 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 Let me tell you, if it is God that calls you, He declares a blessing for you. Even when anyone speaks about you, yeah, you can turn to them and cast them. It is God who has called you. Oh, he said, Father, you are the man. Bless the person today. Bless the person today. Bless the person today. I don't know which village. Don't ask him any questions. Tell him what I hear. I am ready to go. The next day you are in the bus. Reach to the man. Reach to the man. Say God. Speak to me again. Can you say my daughter? Now that you have heard me. Go there. 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 Don't worry about who you are going to, where you are going to eat from. Me who spoke in your life, I have prepared for you people. Before you get to know, somebody comes and tells you, my sister, my mother is struggling for long time. I have a way for you. It is not good. You are going to struggle. You are going to speak in time. Listen, my spiritual father is coming here. I need the time and I told him that God did not call you to go to the church. I told him, even today I told him, sir, God has never called you to go to the church. But to be a blessing in other churches. He has confirmed that. Sometimes we pray. Unnecessary questions. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? When God is going to speak in your life, for the first time, so don't do anything until when you understand him well. When God is going to speak to you at night, and what he shared with you at night, he not come clear with you, and the next day, you are on the road. Yes, I'm God has sent me. God has sent me. God has sent me. You will not be a blessing. So Abraham had him. He told Abraham, go. Leave your mother. Leave everything. I want to bless you. Abraham will ask him God. I am old enough. I am eight enough. Why are you taking me out? Abraham said yes. Abraham began to say yes. We can go. And he said I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. Let me tell you. If it is God that called you to be a minister, to be a worshiper, to be a mother of those kids, to be a caretaker, to be a donor in that church, you will bless you. You don't know where the provisions are. Right now, 
Kakano, we don't have even a coin to host the elders by telling you on Sunday, Sunday we shall be testifying here because we are coming many we shall be standing here and saying God has done it because we are going to pay for some transport we are going to pay we are not going to have no money but we believe that God called us so if he is the one who called us he will bless us and whatever will be a blessing we will also be blessed and whatever will come to us we will not worry 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 Listen, I want you to work three days. Three days. Just pray out your family. Three days. You hear me? Only three days. Don't pray about your thing. Leave alone your business. Back business here. Begin it from tonight. Pray out your family. Tomorrow. Pray out your family. Saturday. Sunday come and testify here. Sunday and and something has already started happening. Yes. I mean. Yes. Uh, Hallelujah. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him. Abraham And the Bible said the Lord went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abraham took Sarah his wife and not his brother's son. Hallelujah. Amen. And they went. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So they are very big, they are very serious thing about our families. That has hindered our blessing so much. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a very big, what I call the umbilical cord. Attaching every human being with his family. Amen. You are here in the church today. Oh, you are not at home. Now you are here. Oh, you are here. Oh, you are here. Oh, you are And every time you go to the bed, Uncle Eddie, go check in. Okay. Uncle Eddie, go check in. Amen. Amen. Oh, you are here. Oh, you are here. Amen. You are at home. Oh, you are there is everything about your father. When your father was dying, he left you with a coat. That's how we are not going to pray. When your father was dying, he left you with a suit. 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 That your father left you with. That this was for my business. Keep it here. But now you don't have any blessing. Remove it today. And believe God. You will see something. You will see something. And then 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 you will see something. Now there is no blessing. Just Thomas, just do you like Mukere? Yes. Ask him where is the problem. There is a problem. Amen. Amen. So you are Although you may have your own mind, you are a product of your ancestors. They have such a stronghold on you. Either you know it or not. Either you know it or you don't. The powers of your father's hand are continuing to exercise a very strong influence in your destiny. So we need to fight it. We need to pray it today. This explain why many people suffer ignorance. Let me tell you, you, this generation, you are the one to hope your family. You are the one to hope your family. You are the one to hope your family. If there is any altar that you also now need so serious, you are the altar in your father's house. You are the altar in your father's house.
you need the you altar in your father's house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, but you need an altar. Sell for them the idea. And begin to seek God. And connect to that altar. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because altars can fight altars. You need an altar to fight that evil altar. We are not going to finish this. Because it is a wide list. We have discovered a lot of things. We are going upside down in the life. Because the power of their father's house is a past for their success. Has failed them a lot. We are afraid that sickness you are suffering from. When you look at it well, your mother also went through this. Your father also went through this. I met a man who was called Busoka. He was called a Basoka something. He was a staunch Muslim. And then this man in last place. He was a Muslim. 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 He didn't want to come and meet me. But when I met him, I told him. Because this man had a problem. His children could not get to seven years. Every time a child walks over six years, he begins to develop a weird sickness. So I met him. I told him there is no prayer and pray for you now. Take me to your house. This man could, the child could develop something like cancer. And all the eyes come out. And that one dies. That one dies. So I went with him at home. I said, let us go. He asked me, Are you a witch doctor? He said, There is something I need to do. I went with the oil. I said, Look at this man. This man was your uncle. And he said, Yes. He said, Where are my mother? I told him, This man. Around. How this man died? The man went immediately to the grandmother. Now who's that guy? That man died on the same sickness as taking care of the man. Now I don't need to touch your son. I want to pray for this man. I poured oil. I said all is well. Let's pray for the seventy. The only child they have now. The man will ask God. 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 Na mukaga, kunyaka mukaga mukaga. Kaya kama lusi kama na mukaga. Some of you have been laid in doing this. Abawa mu mukere yewe. There is something you need to do. Walo chete kido kukuwa. There is something you must do. Walo chete kido kukuwa. Why you are succeeding when you have every document? Why you are not moving in every chwande kuchi? Why you are moving in the spirit of loans? Why you are not moving in the spirit of rejection? Why you are not moving in the spirit of rejection? Everything that happened that you are a bad priest. We need to fight this. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let me take you very fast and I know you are going to write, write this. I'm going to 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 write this. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to write this. So the prayer of your father's house may not prevent you from getting to top. But the, 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 the powers of your uh, father's, uh, father's little spirits may not prevent you from getting to top. I mean, but they struggle you so much. And they struggle to get there so much. No matter how educated you are. No matter how educated you are. No matter whether you're a saint man, whether you're what. Do you know why Moses killed? Because someone killed. In his family, they got his kill. So that hunger was on Moses. But even that could not hinder he got from using it. That tortured him so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I wanted to write this. These are some of the signs. The problems associated with the with the evil powers of your father's house. Let me see what you want to get in your head. Let me see what you want to get in your head. Let me see what you want to get in your head. 
These are some of the examples of the problems that are emanating from the powers of your father's house. Number one, the power of seeing but not attaining. You see something but you don't receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go through that situation, there is a problem. The intense marital problems. Which many of you are going through today. The marital problem. Hallelujah. Amen. All the dreams of sitting examination. And you will never complete it. It's just a dream. God is sitting for a paper But you don't complete it Just know there is a problem Financial embarrassment Spiritual stagnation Amen. Hallelujah Amen. Praise the Lord Amen. Amen. I say spiritual stagnation Amen. Where in, in the <laughs> Hallelujah Amen <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Spiritually, you are stagnant. You cannot do anything. When you are a worshiper, when you worship in the songs of 1945, you don't progress anywhere. That is the spiritual stagnation. Because the spirit of your father does not want to worship. If you are going through that, just know there is a problem. The barrier of talents. Hallelujah. Amen. Talents. Your talents is barrier. Amen. Constant business failures. Constant lack of working capital. Every time you get it, you use it and eat it. There is a problem. The chains of problem. Amen. As you are beginning to tackle this one problem, another one is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Spiritual spouses. Let me tell you. Amen. One thing that is making people <laughs> so much to sustain their marriages is that. Let me tell you. If any spirit has been using you, be the male or female. The number one thing that that spirit will do in your life is to send away your partner. You will not, a man will come to your life and walk away. Because that spirit will be jealous. You getting married. So when you have that spirit, you send to this. Are you some people you don't settle in marriage? Why? The spirit in your family is not married a long time. So every time you go, we walk in a way. Listen, even when you are carrying evil, evil babies, you are mature enough you are still young. Or maybe you are believing God for a child. And you get a dream when you produce a child that you don't understand. Maybe the head is not there. Maybe the head is not there. The spirit is dangerous. Like we are and even kill the living kids. Watch out. Watch out. 